Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see one of the application of companion computer and Pixoc flight controller. So here we have this drone and it has Pixoc and the Raspberry Pi. So we are going to see the precision landing application on this drone. But before uh, going on this actual hardware, what we'll do is first we'll uh, simulate it using Gazebo, Autopilot directory and ROS. And there we'll get to know how uh, the image or the data that is sent by the camera is being uh, subscribed, what are topics, notes and how the code is. So the first thing uh, we'll start is uh, with the code and then I'll show you uh, the actual demonstration of how this precision landing takes place in Gazebo. So let's get started. Now we'll take a look at the Python script that we are going to use for the simulation purpose. And here we have imported RawSpy. Basically, we are going to deal with Ross Python uh, packages. And then uh, here we have sensor msgs.msg. So this is a type of message, and the content of this uh, message is image. Similarly, we have a standard msgs. Uh, which has a content that is string then uh, geometry messages which has content twist and similarly command velocity so if you're familiar with ROS and have used turtle sim then you'll be more comfortable with getting to know this and then we have uh, imported cv2 numpy and few drone kit and mavlink packages and then we need to set up the com uh, connection string between this core and the simulator vehicle and here we have a few parameters so whenever we have the hardware and we need to change the parameters into the uh, autocopter or the px4 firmware we go into the mission planner or qgcs software and go into the configs and uh, full parameter list and change the parameters but uh, as we are simulating this vehicle we need to uh, add the parameters that we want to change so whatever parameters that are present in the autopilot directory has the default value so whenever this code will execute so this uh, values or this updated values will be considered and these parameters are related to precision land so we need to enable precision land function and then type of precision land and then uh, uh, precision land estimator type and then land speed so here the land speed is 20 centimeter per second or that is a descent rate at which the aircraft will descend and then we have uh, defined few variables here which has uh, uh, which will hold the value of like uh, here we have velocity as 0.5 that is 0.5 uh, meter per second and then a uh, takeoff speed as 4 that is 4 meters and here we have uh, created a, a ROS publisher uh, object so the name of the uh, topic here is camera color image new and the content or the type of uh, message it holds is type image and the queue size or the frequency of the data that will be published that will be it will publish 10 messages per second and then uh, we need to define the ids uh, to uh, find and the marker size and then here we have to define the uh, or which orco dictionary that we are going to use so we are going to deal with the uh, orco original dictionary so this will be a 7 cross 7 or the 7 cross 7 bit of uh, original orco marker dictionary and similarly you have 4 cross 4, 5 cross 5, 6 cross 6 and uh, the 7 cross 7 and here uh, we have horizontal field of view and the vertical field of view that is 62.2 and 48.8 and uh, the values are in reference with the Raspberry Pi 2 uh, V2 camera and it is in degree so in order to convert it to radians I have multiplied it by pi by 180 and I have initialize a few contours over here in order to account the markers that have been detected and here we have the camera matrix so in my previous video we have seen how to calibrate a raspberry pi v2 camera and after the process a camera matrix was generated so this is the same uh, data uh, generated from that process you can check my previous video for that and then uh, again we have initialized uh, these parameters over here and then we have this uh, uh, definition or the function for arm and takeoff so basically whenever an autopilot wants to uh, what we can say send commands or get commands from a companion computer it has to be in guided mode so the first thing uh, that we do here is change the vehicle mode to guided and then it will arm the vehicle and once the vehicle is armed it will uh, get to the target altitude so here 0.95 refers to 95 percent of the target altitude if the target altitude is 20 meters then 19 meters is what uh, it will consider as 95% uh, and consider the vehicle has reached the target altitude so there's a buffer of around 1 meters and uh, once it reaches there it will wait for like about 1 second 
and then uh, here we have this uh, send local NED velocity that is VX V5 VZ so we are sending uh, the Mavlink messages so you can get more details uh, about this parameter or the Mavlink message uh, in the on the documentation and here uh, this uh, zero bit uh, refers to the uh, enabling of that particular parameter and similarly here we have send line message that is x and y and in our uh, simulation here the uh, once uh, uh, what we can say once it reaches to the target altitude the aircraft will uh, start searching for the uh, marker and once it detects like uh, it will uh, change the mode to line and and then uh, it will keep on updating this x and y value so uh, the control of this z x is completely uh, dependent on the land mode so in land mode it will uh, descend with a, a particular rate that we have set it to 20 20 centimeters per second so if you want to land it on a moving target then you can just get the whole of this z axis and also the uh, horizontal speed of the uh, vehicle and uh, write your own algorithm to move on these uh, moving targets and here we have this uh, message uh, receiver and uh, here in that we have uh, called this uh, images and converted, converted it into grayscale and then this orco marker detection it takes place and here we have this RVEC and TVEC function so basically these are related to getting the information regarding the pose of this uh, particular image and here I have this uh, basic calculation in order to find the exact uh, position of the marker or the offsets from the uh, or in the given frame and here uh, we have changed the mode to line so when the marker is being dated it changes the vehicle mode to line and and then it uh, starts sending the offsets that is uh, x angle and the y angle to the autopilot and some of the labeling uh, takes place over here and here we have this uh, subscriber function so we have initialized this uh, uh, subscriber node and the name of this node is the drone node and then uh, we have subscribed it to this topic so the name of the topic is uh, camera color uh, image raw and the similar topic that we have uh, published uh, during the uh, during the start of this code and the type of message it holds is uh, image and here uh, this is the main function and here we have uh, this or we have called this function that is arm and takeoff function and similarly it will go to the height it will uh, when it reaches the target altitude it will wait there for a second and then it will uh, start that uh, algorithm for detecting uh, the marker and it will change the vehicle mode to land and all this process uh, takes place in this main function so now we'll uh, see the uh, exact demonstration of uh, how this uh, simulation goes now we'll start the simulation by uh, executing this launch file so whenever we'll uh, execute this launch file a raw score gazebo and the irish world will launch and uh, it's pretty uh, useful to create a launch file so we don't have to uh, separately run raw score and gazebo so everything uh, will be including this or in this one uh, launch file and the next thing that we are going to do is uh, start SITL that is software in the loop and you can find a detailed video uh, that I have uh, already uh, published on uh, setting up uh, the SITL along with the gazebo uh, that is a 3D simulator and here we are into the autopilot directory and started this SITL and the default mode in this SITL is stabilized and it's pretty same like uh, what we see in the actual hardware so here uh, are the different modes and as we are going to uh, work with the guided mode so that that is already written in the code and here uh, we have this RQT so basically RQT window will give you the camera feed so when where the wherever the camera is being pointed will get that feed so uh, the camera is uh, mounted at the bottom of the uh, Irish drone and uh, we'll get uh, get the Orco marker uh, feed on this window and uh, now we have to wait uh, for a few seconds to get the 3d fix uh, on this uh, SITL okay so uh, this is the uh, aircraft with the Orco marker And now uh, we'll execute the Python script that uh, we have uh, already seen. Uh, 
okay so once we'll uh, start the script so it will enter the guided mode then it will arm and it will uh, take off to this uh, target altitude so what altitude we had was like four meters so uh, it will uh, get to that altitude and then it will start searching the Arco marker and once it uh, gets the Arco marker it will suddenly uh, change the mode to land and it will keep on sending the x and y offset and the aircraft will keep on adjusting or trying to uh, get over the Arco marker and uh, all this uh, process will uh, happen in the land mode so the descent uh, rate will be constant and here you can see that uh, how how it's uh, how descending over the Orco marker so uh, this descent rate is uh, uh, like what we can say it's not fixed so it depends or if you are moving with the hardware so if you are using Raspberry Pi 3 uh, you'll have some different frame rates like uh, 11, 12 or uh, or even uh, 5 frames per second so uh, the more frame rates you have the more smoother your uh, uh, precision landing application becomes so I'm using Raspberry Pi 4 so uh, uh, it has like uh, frames from like 21 to 24 frames per second and the descent rate what uh, what I have kept is like around 15 to 16 meter per second so uh, that thing also depends on the weight of the aircraft so you have to just uh, uh, do uh, like two three trials and just get to know otherwise you'll have the uh, shaky or the jittery motion and here uh, we can see that uh, the aircraft is landing pretty good on this uh, marker with uh, minimal uh, errors and uh, here we go so uh, this is uh, all about the simulation so in the next videos uh, we'll see the actual uh, demonstration on this uh, real aircrafts so see you in the next video